episode. Mm -hmm. So this morning, star and Fox Live contributor Ashley Darby is here to talk all about it and more. We're carving out a whole few minutes for <laughs> A whole for little show. section of the show for this. We're ready to see <laughs> hello, it. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good How are you, babe? Good How are you? Good, good to, to see you. you. How are you doing? Very nice. Thank Good. you. Good. So I Ask you real quick when okay. the episodes come out because you don't get to see how it's going to be portrayed. Right? I see them a couple days before. Couple days, so it's too yeah. late. So you can brace yeah. yourself, right? Yes. Okay. Brace yes. Yourself. Uh -huh. Okay. So yesterday's uh, episode, your reaction to all of it? It was a lot. <laughs> it, it was a lot. I mean, in the moment, it was a lot. Watching it back is a lot. Yeah. Um, and you know, I will say though, pickleball is a really fun time. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> if you haven't played, it was such a good icebreaker because of where our group was at the time. It was so nice for us to have something else to, to be whacking instead yeah. of, you know. <laughs> Each other, right? <laughs> That's yeah. a good way to put it. Yes. Yeah, upsides, upsides. Uh, th this is such an interesting piece of this because the show uh, I think when you look back on Twitter, right, because Twitter is kind of the litmus test of how the mm. show kind of performs, and you see fans, especially the ones who, who have gravitated themselves to you over the last few years, uh, they, they were in a bit of a, of a weird state because they mm. uh, kind of attributed the show now to kind of moving to a darker side, mm. uh, especially after what happened between uh, NECA and, and Wendy. Mm -hmm. And they assumed that this was all kind of bolstered by you. And I'm wondering, with the complex relationship of uh, African ideology and African spirituality in our country, um, do you ever think back and, and regret uh, kind of what happened and, and how that all played out? Well, I have, if you've seen the episode. I actually did take ownership of what mm -hmm. I said. Yeah. Um, and as you continue to watch the season, more things develop and evolve. And I do realize that there was a lot of cultural sensitivity, which I tried to pay homage to. Mm -hmm. um, but again, things evolve in ways that I didn't even anticipate happening. And as the season goes on, um, it becomes very complex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I will say really quickly, some folks are saying that they feel like this season is off to a slower start. I feel like with you guys, it's a catch-22 because you're coming off of, I mean, y'all were breaking records. Mm -hmm. You were like the yeah. highest viewed um, franchise of all of them. So the bar is really high. Do you think there's some legitimacy to what people are saying as far as it having a bit of a slow start? I mean, this is our real lives. I, you know, I, I don't know what to tell the people. Right, speed it up. Um, Come on. Yeah, let me uh, go just totally shatter my world for everybody's yeah. entertainment. Um, but Would you say it, it gets... It, it really does. interesting as it progresses. No, it like definitely it's does. Okay. It definitely does. And this is only episode, what, two or three? <laughs> but you, but, but <laughs> you know. We got a minute to go, y'all. Yeah. But you know, people want that splash. They, they yeah. want to feel like they felt last season right away. And I think the, the, the slower progression of it and maybe even the what they've called the darker side to it just feels like it's a little depressing. And they're kind of feeling like what I've heard on Twitter. They want to speed up. They want to feel your personality. They want to see the smiles again. Uh, will that come in the future? So I do have to say that you have to remember that people are getting a snapshot of where we are in the moment. Mm. So I don't tend to get really wrapped up in what's happening on social media because it changes. It's mm -hmm. such a very transitioning, mm -hmm. volatile time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, social media changes so much for our show. So I don't really immerse myself in that, but um, I do think fans will be surprised okay. at some of the oh. fun things we have coming up. Okay. All right, we'll leave that yeah. at that. Uh, we got to talk Thanksgiving really quickly. How was your Thanksgiving? Amazing! <laughs> you I made a TikTok with my fam, you yes. know? Had did, a good old who, time. Who was all involved? I mean, did, did Michael go? Did no, he... no, Michael's actually with his daughter in England, okay. so he's busy. But I have my whole fam there, my auntie. My grandma was on the sidelines coaching everybody. Y'all were cutting up. We had a time. We had a time. <laughs> yeah. There's your uncle there, right? Yes. The my, biggest, the show. my biggest fear is that Ashley invites me to do a TikTok dance with her. <laughs> I, there was one time it got close, and I dodged it. I was so happy. Mm. You're an expert at dodging, no. Jeanette. But one day, <laughs> one day. She can, the girl can dance. She picks up on the dances really quick yeah but it's also just fun everyone had yeah. a good time you know we were all full so it was really fun Look you did that, that after y'all ate yes wow, yes nobody went to sleep <laughs> no it's my family see y'all don't know we turn up it's a time it's no, always I a party it. and I, I really love your uncle too thank yeah, you babe. he's, he's amazing yeah. all right well you ready to hop into it by the way y'all gotta it. if you haven't watched the episode last night you gotta catch up and then of course next sunday is the is the next one yes it is next okay. sunday at 8 p.m all, all right. right and uh just a reminder you can catch the new episodes on broadcast Let's move on to this. Speaking of housewives, not necessarily Potomac, though. More rumblings about the OG, the one and only Nene Leak, possibly returning to Bravo. But just how likely is that to happen? Let's get the scoop from producer Chris. Chris, are we? Is this just wishful thinking? <laughs> it's a tease, Chris. Honest. 
you know, we talked about this a little bit last week. I do think some of it's wishful thinking, but I do think they're kind of dropping a little bit of breadcrumbs every here and there. And the most recent was over the weekend because Nini was in Dubai with some of her former cast members and some housewives from another franchise. So she was with co-star Cynthia Bailey and Real Housewives of Dubai star Lisa Milan. So the Bravo stars shared snaps on social media of themselves hanging out on a golf course for the Middle East Golf Classic. While Nini's comeback has not been confirmed, not been confirmed, Amy Cohen recently made a comment that left fans thinking the door might be open to an eventual reunion. Andy told a fan at BravoCon that there's always room in his heart for everybody. That was the comment. However, like we told you last week as well, he also said that Nini has asked him to keep her name out of his mouth, and he respects that. So... What do you guys think? I love how professional he said that. He asked her to keep her name out of his mouth. <laughs> and he totally did. <laughs> I picked up on that. That was good. That was good, Chris. Well done, Keep Chris. It professional. Um, I, okay, so the thing about Nini is it's interesting because she's also so huge. You wonder at what point does a real housewife, or former in this case, just deserve her own show? Do you think she's at that point, or should she go back to... Well, yeah, Atlanta. I mean, no one's saying she's necessarily coming back to Atlanta, That's so true. who knows what that could mean. And she is a huge personality. Yeah. And I, I miss her. You know, I watched this TikTok compilation the other day of NeNe Deliveries. Oh. It was about three minutes long, and I just got my life all over again. <laughs> What's you your know? favorite saying? Um, I like chat. <laughs> ghetto. I just I I loved it. Yeah. yeah, or I said what, what I, I said. said. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Everybody yeah. knows a Nene line. Yeah. So. She's so good. She has so much personality. Yeah. I feel like her own show, I wonder who she would invite in to be characters yeah. on her show. That's yeah. the real question. I just think she needs to get uh, some respect put on her name yeah. for uh, doing what she did for the franchise. And not just mm -hmm. of Atlanta, but just in general, in general. Real Housewives oh, yeah. in general. Totally. So. Yeah. We'll see. Agreed. Yeah. We will We see. love Nene. We do. Yes, we do. All right, let's talk about Tiffany Haddish now. She got herself in a little bit of trouble over the weekend. You may have seen this. We reported on it earlier. We're going to talk more about it with TMZ coming up in the Lion Lunch Hour. However, she was arrested over the weekend. She is facing a DUI charge in Beverly Hills after she allegedly fell asleep behind the wheel. So TMZ says the actress was not involved in an accident, but cops say they got a call around 5.45 a.m. about someone stopped in the middle of Beverly Drive, slumped over the wheel, while the car was running. Tiffany was peacefully arrested. So the previous night, she had done a stand-up comedy set at the Laugh Factory. She had another one Friday night after this incident Friday morning. So a fan asked her about what happened, quote, last night, seemingly referring to the arrest. Tiffany oh. responded that the universe answered her prayers for a man in uniform. She didn't specifically say anything <laughs> about the DUI or admit to any sort of guilt or innocence, but she just made a joke and kept going. The audience got a pretty big kick out of it, but I'm curious what you guys think of that comment, whether it's a good way to just kind of acknowledge it and move hmm. on, or whether it seems like it's making a little bit too much light of the situation. Hmm. What do you think? Ooh. Well, personally, it's her, it's her business, right? Yeah. So if she wants to make light of her situation, that's fine. Um, uh, you know, we all looked at each other a little sideways right. right then, so maybe not how we would handle it, but, you know, she's a comedian. She is a comedian, and she was going to make, make a joke anyway. She had to make a joke of her own pain. Yeah. Um, but, but Tiffany Haddish is, I, I hate to see this happening to her at this moment because she's, her star has been rising continuously, but she's been she's been in the news for some really interesting things over the last yeah. few, few yeah. years. I'm kind of torn about this. I mean, DUI is pretty serious, right? It is. We've we've yeah. covered some tragedies that have come from people driving behind the wheel. So um, I'm sure I I'm sure her PR team and 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 Tiffany they discussed how to address this and what to say and what not to say. So. I, I wonder if this is the end of her addressing it, leaving it at that. I think and so. like you said, Chris, she's not really saying much with that comment, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, if you like the way I handled that Nini comment with uh -huh. Andy earlier, just wait until you hear the quote that I'll have for you in this story. <laughs> we are talking about Megan Thee Stallion now because she says she has changed. She says she is no longer, quote, a big old freak in the bedroom, <laughs> in the bedroom, guys, because she is taking her time, she says, when it comes to inviting someone new in. I apologize in advance. She said she is turning over <laughs> a new leaf. Megan's revelation comes nearly two weeks after she released her highly anticipated single, Cobra, in which she seemingly accused her ex-boyfriend, Party Fontaine, 
of cheating on her. So Megan Thee Stallion no longer, as I said, a big old freak. I mean, you mm. might as well say it in the anchor voice, uh, Chris, <laughs> yeah. right? I, I mean... could never as well. <laughs> I don't even have one. Producer, I mean, I'm, Chris, for I, a reason. But you, you I mean, we could say, you know, time now, 552, Megan Thee Stallion saying she's no longer a big old freak. <laughs> 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 I mean, if you want to Ladies take it all the way um, that said, what do you think? She's a changed woman, so. Hmm. Yeah, this comes with <laughs> maturity, you know? Okay. And, this is okay. your energy. Like, this this woman has been through a lot. Well, I don't know if you yeah. know, Party released a diss track about her, too. Okay. Yes. Mm. So I think she realizes she needs to be a little more discerning. And yes, this is, it's your energy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Take oh. care of it. Well, wasn't, wasn't the whole premise of this is kind of like protest rap, right? Her kind of bolstering up the idea that women can do it, too. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think this is a part of her brand. How, how does it feel to take a, a major part of her brand away? And, and, and how do we find, find a, the Megan Thee Stallion outside of... I think whatever rebrand, whatever, you know, it, it, it's just, it's going to be great for her. I love yeah. Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, I mean, she's good. I, I wish but she But that's the what feminism is, is that you don't necessarily have to conform to one thing. You don't mm. have to just do something because a man does it. You know, like, you just can live that's your fair. real truth. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's and doing that. We're here for it. We love All right. it. Yes, love it. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you. As always. always. So fun. <laughs> All right, Holly, we'll send it over to you. All right. Thanks, guys. Well, she is the...